Good morning and Jai Hind. In this video, we are going to study a story from our RFP book, Life on Horseback. This story is written by Devansh Rai. The story belongs to a bodyguard named Arjun. Arjun is wounded shoulder as he was laid on a stretcher and hauled into an ambulance. His left shoulder was bleeding heavily. The pain was intense. Twelve hours ago. Arjun was a bodyguard of the city's mayor. It was going to be a busy day. The mayor had to give a TV interview in the morning, had a meeting on law and order at midday and later inaugurate a school in one of the city less prosperous part. The day went smoothly. Finally, the mayor reached the school. Arjun was directly to his left. Then the training kicked in. Alarm bells started ringing in Arjun's mind. He went into the near bank. Then he saw it a man in a trench coat pulled out a small pistol from somewhere inside his cuff. Arjun threw himself before the mayor. The man fired without aiming from point blank range. The bullet caught Arjun in the left shoulder. Still, he grabbed the mayor and lodged into the ground. Ambulances started screaming. The mayor was checked for injuries and declared perfectly fine thanks to Arjun. Arjun had forgotten about his own injury but a medic checked him and asked him to lie still. The bullet was still locked in his shoulder. He woke up in a hospital room. He felt as good as new but he could not move his left arm. The doctor came in. He asked, Doctor, there is something wrong with my left arm. I can't move it. But he knew it even before the doctor said it. Arjun, we tried really hard but could not save your arm. He was numbed with shock. The man arrested him the next day and said, I don't know if it will make any better but they have caught the man who did this to you he will spend the rest of his rotten life behind bars i can assure you arjun was past caring what happened to anyone else you saved my life and for that, I am grateful. I am sorry about the arm. You can take your time, get a new job and figure out your life. The Arjun didn't know what to say. He said, thank you. Three months later, Arjun was wandering around the city just to keep himself occupied. He went to watch a parade which stretched as far as I could see. In the front, there were horses led by a beautiful woman on a magnificent black horse. He was captivated by their majesty. It was the first time he had felt so excited about anything since the attack. The next day, he went to the nearby stable to register for a course. He told the manager about his condition, who seemed surprised, but said, Don't worry, sir. We have seen worse. He was just looking at the magnificent horses. The voice behind him called, Sir, are you Arjun Sharma? Yes, he replied turning around and saw that it was the same woman who had led the parade the previous day. 
excellent. I am Samaira and I will be your instructor for the duration of this course, she said. I saw you at the parade yesterday. You were amazing. Oh, I love writing. I wouldn't give it up for the world. I can't wait to get started. So, let's not waste any time. The first thing you need to learn is how to get on the horse and how to stay on it. His horse for the day was the majestic brown powerhouse. He tried to mount it but lost his grip and fell face first. He tried, was successful for the moment, then the horse moved just a bit and he fell down. She laughed. He looked at her, embarrassed, and then laughed himself. Soon they are both laughing like idiots. Now, Arjun went to the stable regularly and loved spending time with the horse. He named him Sultan. He was learning quickly too. In few weeks, he got the hang of how to take care of the horse, feed it, what to feed it and how to brush it. He, he was now waking up early, sometimes simply too excited to sleep. He thought there was hope that he would lead a normal life. Samira was like a beacon of light, guiding him out of the darkness that had gathered around. Now he learned how to make a horse trot, gallop, turn and stop. He was making progress and he loved every minute of it. The last day of training, he had mixed feelings. He met Samira. They spent the rest of the lesson just chatting and trotting around the, their horses. Late in the afternoon, when it was time for Arjun to say goodbye, he asked Samira, for one long gallop through the field and back. She agreed and off they went. It was going well initially, but Arjun's horse slipped over foliage while galloping and tripped, launching Arjun over a fence and into a thorny bush. Samira saw the accident and brought her horse to a standstill, but she did not offer for help. Arjun was clearly offended, but he didn't say anything. When Arjun could free himself and mount his horse again, he returned to the stable in wounded silence. Dismounted, Arjun was about to turn around and leave when Samira said, I know you are offended at my not coming to your help back there, but the truth is that I can't walk. I am paralyzed below the knees. Thank you.